we have a groundbreaking story for you. SpaceX has not only outshined other space companies with its Starship, but now it's also taken things up a notch, shocking NASA with not one, but two heavy rocket launches. That's right. Falcon Heavy and Starship are set to take to the skies in an action-packed week that will leave you breathless. So buckle up and let's dive into this insane adventure. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more mind-blowing space updates. The Falcon Heavy mission is set to blast off on April 18th from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Its main goal is to launch a powerhouse, bus-sized broadband satellite for Viasat into a high-altitude circular geostationary orbit. This demanding flight profile requires the disposal of all three of Falcon Heavy's reusable boosters. Imagine the sheer power of this beast launching such a massive satellite. SpaceX technicians have assembled three Falcon Heavy booster stages together in a hangar just south of Launch Complex, 39A. Ground crews rolled the rocket a quarter-mile distance to the launch pad, preparing for a test firing of its 27 Merlin main engines. This test firing will generate a whopping 5 million pounds of thrust. Talk about a force to be reckoned with. The launch window opens at 7.36 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Tuesday, April 18th. The Falcon Heavy rocket's two side boosters will fire at full power for two and a half minutes before jettisoning into the Atlantic Ocean. The core stage will then throttle up to full power and burn for about a minute and a half longer, separating for its own destructive plunge into the sea. After that, the upper stage will ignite its single engine for the first of three planned burns. The first burn will place the Viasat 3 Americas and Arcturus satellites into a parking orbit. The second burn will raise the apogee, or the high point of the orbit, to an altitude of more than 20,000 miles. After coasting through space for nearly six hours, the upper stage will reignite its engine a final time to circularize the orbit over the equator. Finally, the Viasat-3 Americas and Arcturus satellites will deploy from the Falcon Heavy rocket, wrapping up the multi-hour launch sequence. How cool is that? As if this mission wasn't impressive enough, SpaceX will also carry a rideshare satellite for Astronus, a San Francisco-based company. The Arcturus spacecraft weighs about 300 kilos and will provide internet service to Alaska. Residents up there must be thrilled for better internet coverage. This Falcon Heavy launch is a rare and challenging feat. Placing payloads directly into orbit near geostationary altitude is something no current rocket, not even NASA, has accomplished. It requires careful planning, precise calculations, and mastery over rocket trajectory and velocity to place the payload into the correct orbital altitude and inclination. Falcon Heavy's profile requires extended battery life on the upper stage, and a custom band of gray thermal paint to ensure the kerosene fuel doesn't freeze during the hour spent in the cold environment of space. Talk about innovation and attention to detail. Due to these challenges, it's more common for rockets to place payloads into a transfer orbit rather than directly into geostationary orbit. However, SpaceX has already achieved direct insertions into geostationary orbit on previous classified missions for the U.S. Space Force, proving once again that they're pushing the boundaries of space exploration. Viasat-3 Americas is the first of three new-generation broadband satellites for Viasat. This California-based company beams internet signals for underserved consumers, businesses, and governments, as well as providing in-flight Wi-Fi to passengers on major airlines like Delta, American, United, Southwest, and JetBlue. This state-of-the-art satellite has some of the largest antenna reflectors ever sent to space and relies on all-electric propulsion for fine orbital maneuvers and station keeping after separating from the Falcon Heavy rocket. Once it reaches its final position at 88.9 degrees west longitude in geostationary orbit, it'll provide coverage over North and South America and adjacent maritime regions. But wait, there's more. Viasat and Boeing are working on two more satellites to provide similar internet service over Europe, North Africa, the Middle East, and the Asia-Pacific region. With these new satellites, Viasat aims to revolutionize global internet coverage. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and remember to hit that like button and subscribe to Fintricity. Until next time, keep exploring.